our first guest is Sally Ann. As Sally Ann begins a new chapter in her life, stepping down from journalism after 40 years. Before Sally Ann's big day, Robin sat down with her to talk, to talk about the lessons she's learned and her adventures ahead. Sally Ann Roberts, Channel 4, Eyewitness News. Those stories and lots more coming up tonight at 10. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 6.30 half hour. Why mm -hmm. is the time right now for you to start this new chapter in your I life? I can do nothing but start this new chapter. When it's time, you just know it. How did you make this decision? I made it with a lot of prayer. I just asked God to make it clear to me. I went in and I spoke to the general manager and I told him that I wanted to leave my contract early. And uh, after I, we finished having our conversation, I went across the street to the bookstore and there was a lady in the bookstore. And she said, Sally Ann, it's time for you to retire. She said, while you're young and still have your youth, you got to enjoy life. I didn't say anything to her, but you know, other than saying thank you. But I was saying, thank you, Lord, for confirmation. What do you say to somebody who is struggling with the decision to embark on the next chapter in their life? There are times when we wait on God, and there are times when God waits on us. Amen. So what I say to someone who's afraid, first of all, you need to pray over it. Whatever your faith may be, pray. He'll yeah, close yeah. as many doors as he will open. Oh, yeah. Speak it, sister. Oh, preach, sister. Yes, he'll close the doors you shouldn't go through. He'll open the doors you should. And when you step out, realize that he is there in it, in whatever you're afraid of. Ordinary people throughout history have done extraordinary things because they didn't let fear stop them. Don't let your fear keep you from your destiny. One of your favorite sayings, your power is on. Mm -hmm. Your power is on. Your power is on. I just believe that if we were just to take time to sit and listen, mm -hmm. we would find that power to do what we need to do. You know, he's not going to ask us to do something that we're incapable of. My big sister is a virtually perfect match for me. I remember the morning when I announced that I had MDS and you were there in the studio with me. Some people will sign up to be a donor, but then when they get the call, for whatever reason, they decide not to. But I remember what you said to me. I was born for this. I believe that all of us are on a mission when we come into this life. And my mission was to help you. So here come we on, go Lord, again. help us. Help us now to yeah. go through everything. We need uh, you every step of the way. We need you. It's like, oh, it's like back again. We oh, need dude. thee. Oh, we need thee. You love to sing. Oh, get, get, get me out of here! Get me out of here! There's always a song in your heart. There's joy in singing. Oh, let me see. The song I want to sing right now oh, I didn't is... Oh, I mean you had to sing right now, yeah, but... Oh, now you ask. Oh. I'm going to go. I'm going to go there. But, you know, I, I just found a song, actually, that Mom sang. And he knows, yes, he knows just how much we can bear. And the song goes on to say, we are Heavenly Father's children, and we all know that He loves us one and all. And you know what? That's the message I want to do in my remaining years on this earth. I just want to spread a message of love of acceptance. Dr. King said it best, you cannot fight hatred, and we've got enough hatred in this world. The only way you can fight hatred is not with more hatred, but with love. And I want to, whatever time I have left, I want to work 24 seven for the one who has given us everything that we have. You know, mentorship is something that I will be out there trying to get more mentors for children, like our mother had a mentor. I want to be of support to military members and their families. Because when I see a military family, I think of the Roberts family, and I feel a kinship with them. We can't do everything, but we can do something. Whatever it is you're called to do, do it in life. Wow. There it is right there up in the jumbo trash. Congratulations, Sally Ann Roberts. Boy, there is a woman who does not know the meaning of the word retire. Nope. That was so inspiring. Well, hey, 
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.